Please take your seat. One more time, let us celebrate the covering that God has given to us. Let us celebrate this lion the Lord has given to us. Our own papa and mama. Come on, join me, let's celebrate him. I love you, mama. Papa, you're the best. Thank you, sir. Part of my ministration tonight will be a request from the choir to sing. I'd like you to sing the song, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help. Today I'm going to be sharing on grace for help tell your neighbor you will never be stranded you will never be stranded no say it as if you mean it you will never be stranded somebody amen. shout amen amen please can you do that song for me and if you know it you can sing along if you don't know it can you just listen because i believe I will lift up my eyes to the hills From whence cometh my help My help cometh from the Lord He's the maker of heaven and earth He said he will not suffer thy foot Yes sir Thy foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth thee, He will not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Oh, no, 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 the sun shall not smite thee by day, no, 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 by night, and he shall preserve thy soul, even forevermore. Oh, 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 come on, help me say, my name.
them help is on the way help is on the way prophesy to five people you will not be stranded help for your family help for your business help for your ministry help for your father help for your sister help you will not be stranded thank you Jesus on the way. Somebody shout hallelujah. While you're standing, take off your Bible to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews 4, 16. Yes, sir. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Grace to help in time of need. I believe God that this service will terminate a present need in somebody's life today. If you are that person, let me hear your amen. Let's read a little story and then we'll get on from there. Second Kings chapter 6. Let's read from verse 24 to the end. Second Kings chapter 6. We'll read from verse 24. And it came to pass after this that Ben Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his host and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it until an ass head was sold for four score pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of dove's dung for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help, my lord, O king. And he said, The Lord do not help thee. Whence? Shall I help thee? If the Lord does not help, help you. Thee, whence shall I help thee? Who will help you? Out of the bomb floor or out of the wine press. Verse 28. And the king said unto her, What aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat mine son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, Give thy son that we may eat him. And she hid her son. Kai. Verse 30. And it came to pass, when the king heard the words of the woman, that he rent his clothes and passed by upon the wall. And the people looked, and behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. Then he said, God do so, and more also to me, if the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him this day. But Elisha sat in his house, and the elder sat with him, and the king sent a man from before him. But ere the messenger came to him, he said to the elders, See ye how the son of a murderer had sent to take away my head. Look when the messenger come in, shut the door, and hold him fast at the door. Is not the sound of his master's feet behind him? 
Verse 33. And while he yet talked with them, behold, the messenger came down upon him, and he said, Behold, this evil is of the Lord. What should I wait? What should I wait for the Lord any longer? Go ahead to verse 1. This is verse 34. 33. Go ahead to chapter 7, verse 1. Chapter 7, verse 1. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the reading of your word. Let help be released for somebody now. Amen. We receive it with thanksgiving. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. Please take your seat. By this time tomorrow, help will knock on your door. Amen. By this time tomorrow, help will knock at your door. Amen. By this time tomorrow, help will come for somebody in your family. If you're that person, shout a better amen. Come boldly to the throne of grace by Hebrews 4.16. That you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. How long your need will last depends on how much help that comes. God designed us that we cannot do everything for ourselves. And so he planted you as help for someone. And planted someone as help for you. The length of your need depends on the grace you have attracted to bring help. And I believe today, by the reason of this service, that grace will be released to somebody here. I want to decree and declare, you will not be stranded. I said you will not be stranded. You will not be stranded. Can I pass through you to your father that is not here? Can I pass through you to your brother that is not here? Can I pass through you to your wife that is not here? It takes one man to go to the shrine and bottle a whole family and dump them there. If one man can tie a whole family at a shrine, then one man can release a whole family right at this altar. For your sake, your brother will smile again. For your sake, your father will smile again. For your sake, your sister will get married. For your sake, your brother will release his children. For your sake, your child will get that job. Somebody shout a better amen. For the sake of one, that grace is coming upon you tonight. Wherever you're watching from, hear me. Open door is a man. I have said that before. When God wants to open your door, he will send you help in the form of a man. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Any moment from now, that man will walk into your life. Any moment from now, help will knock on your door. By this time tomorrow, a miracle will be in your house. A testimony will be in your mouth. If you are that person, shout a better amen. If the Lord does not help you, where will I help you from? A time comes in life when you discover that your best connection cannot help you. Because the one you are looking up to is looking up to someone else. You think you have a problem, wait until you hear the problem of the one you want to help you. You have a problem of 10,000 
and you're coming to a man that has a problem of two million. Mega problem. The land was under siege. Surrounded. There was no food. No going out. No coming in. If you finish the one you have. You don't finish. To the point that people began to eat their children. Is it possible that a woman will bring up her child? And take a knife. And begin to separate the leg. Separate the finger. Separate the head. Cut the stomach and bring out the time. And carry it and put in the pot. And boil it. Terrible witchcraft. But that was the situation. There's a situation you find yourself, you lose your senses. There's a situation you find yourself, normal things become abnormal. And a woman called another friend and said, we need to survive. Let's agree to cook our children. Today we will eat my own. Tomorrow is your turn. But after eating tomorrow, we'll, what of next tomorrow? You will now eat yourselves. And they look for another man's own. And the one agreed. While the other one agreed but had another plan. Sometimes the one you think is helping you has another plan. Counter to your own. He has another plan. You think he's helping you. You don't know he's manipulating you. To bring you down so that he can rise. Any man manipulating your destiny. Any woman manipulating your job. Upon this altar. They are destroyed. I said they are destroyed. I said they are destroyed. Somebody shout a better amen. They cooked and the woman passed the head of the child upon the plate oh god and two of them began to eat a woman eating her child and when she passed the food she was saying father bless this food That devil is a liar. And they finished the food. And waited for the next day. And he said, it's now your turn. Bring your child. And the Bible says that one hid her child. And it became war. And people make promises and they fail. The arm of flesh will fail. But they that trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. They cannot be moved. Help is on the way for somebody here. And they began to make trouble and began to shout. They wanted to fight. Suddenly the king was passing by. I said, what is going on here? And the woman shouted, help me, O king. Help. Somebody shout help. I didn't hear you. Somebody shout help. As you shout it, help will respond to you. Somebody shout help. And the king stopped and said, what is the matter? He said, we boiled my child under agreement. And look at your own. It's her turn now. She hid her child. Help me, O king. And even a king was able to say, if God cannot help you, who am I? Your help comes from above, not abroad. Your help comes from above, 
not from abroad. Now, look at the situation here, which is where I am going. And the king left the situation and started attacking a man of God who is supposed to be the solution. Papa, every time the devil wants to manipulate and destroy a man, he makes him quarrel with his help. He brings in a problem ahead of the challenge so that the relationship is messed up. And when it's time for the person to help, the door is closed. Be careful about how you treat people positioned in destiny for you. Be careful about how, listen, if you know this one is planted for you, take any nonsense. Eat it and arrive at your destination. You are going somewhere. This is not where you will stay. By this time tomorrow, there will be a change of position in your life. Somebody shout a better amen. He said, I'm coming after Elisha. And the solution was in the mouth of Elisha. So if you kill your solution, what happens to you? I want to talk to somebody here tonight. Be careful about how you treat the one who is planted to help you in the face of offenses. Because the devil will rupture the relationship before he can rupture the plan. There are things you need to absorb and take. Just be patient. Because your anger will complicate your problem. Especially if you are dealing with a father. Especially if you are dealing with a father. And more especially a spiritual father. And he said, if the Lord does not help you, who will help you? And here he's attacking the agent of the Lord. What foolishness. I want to tell somebody here today. The Lord will preserve your help for you. There are positions in life you come and you need help. There are things in life you cannot do for yourself. Somebody needs to recommend you. Somebody needs to open the door for you. Somebody needs to defend you in your absence. Somebody needs to talk about you so that they know who you are and what you can do. Somebody needs to project you. Somebody needs to visit and that visit will make a difference. This is August. I see an August visitor in the next three days coming to your house. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Lift your hand and shout, help! Second Chronicles 26 verse 15. This is a fasting and praying thing. And we are going to be praying and fasting. We are already fasting. A lot of people fast and they are not praying. And this is the opportunity to pray. If you are fasting and you are not praying, you are on hunger strike. Second Chronicles chapter 26 verse 15. Read. And he made in Jerusalem engines. Engines. Invented by cunning men. Uh-huh. To be on the towers and upon the bulwarks yes to shoot arrows and great stones without and his name spread far abroad look at this his name began to spread far abroad for he was marvelously helped he was marvelously helped till he was strong until he was strong help brings strength help gives you strength help helps